Chow here from johnchow.com, and welcome to another episode of Driving with John Chow. It's a beautiful day in sunny Orange County, 73 degrees, perfect for top time weather and living the dot com lifestyle. I'm on my way to lunch right now. I just dropped off lunch to Sally, and uh, now I'm gonna go enjoy some BCD tofu. Anyway, I want to answer a question I get often. And that is, do you really work only two hours a day? That's a question. Because, you know, I, I went down, I make this much a month on a couple of hours a day. That's how much I work. So I want to, and yeah, I get a question asked like, do you actually like get up and when, and if I do work two hours a day, when do I actually work the two hours a day? Do I like certain times? And here's the answer. It's, it's appropriate because today's a Monday and Monday is my work day. You see, if you break it down on an average week, then yes, I work two hours a day, but I don't actually like, today I'm going to work two hours, tomorrow I'm going to work two hours, next day I work two hours. That's not how it works. I do all my work, set up all the blog posts on my blog on Monday. Monday is my work day. I get up, take Sally to school, come back, and after my bike ride, sit on the computer, and I will start scheduling all my blog posts, cranking out my blog posts, editing all my video, and I will get the entire week's worth of posts and videos done, and basically that will give me the rest of the entire week off. So instead of working two hours a day for, you know, for five days, I will work, actually I don't even work, that be 10 hours, I don't even work 10 hours. I work about four to six hours and get the entire week's work done. And that's, that's how I do it. And I find it, this works out better for me because once you're sitting down and you start working and you get into, I guess, you get into the group or in, in case of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, you get plugged in. Like once you get plugged in and you start, uh, this for me anyway, once I get plugged in and I start punching them out, I find that I often don't want to stop. I just, I'm, when, I'm in a, when I'm in that working mode, I, I work and I will, just start cracking them out. Now, versus doing it like, if I would just stop after two hours, and then tomorrow I do another two hours, I find I don't work very well that way. I just like to do concentrated period. That, for me, I find that works great. Now, for you, it might be totally different, but I find that in talking to other bloggers and other internet marketers, they like to do the same thing. They like to just sit down, do all their work that they need and then take the breaks and then take the breaks off so and i find that also gives me more comfort too because by by setting getting all my stuff done for the week or couple of weeks in advance i don't have to worry about afterwards i don't have to worry about like oh what am i going to write about tomorrow i don't you know a lot of people think about hmm what am I going to write about tomorrow? What am I going to do tomorrow? What am I going to do this? And here's the thing. They spend more time thinking about what they're going to write instead of actually writing it. I'm, ever get that situation? You know, what am I going to write about? What am I going to write about? By the time you, get, you spend 30 minutes writing a blog post, but then you spend three hours thinking about what you're going to write about. And by the way, that honk wasn't for me. It was the guy in front of me because he didn't see the green light. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Anyway, I come up to my restaurant. Now you know. I do I work two hours a day. The answer is uh, actually no. I I I work about four to eight hours in one day, and take the next six days off. So there's your answer. John Shell for JohnShell.com. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.